Hey everyone, well, the UVM men's hockey team is trying to get the focus back to the game as the school year nears. Today, interim head coach Steve Wiedler spoke with the media about the team's future after an offseason that saw the firing of its head coach. Steve Wiedler wasn't supposed to lead UVM men's hockey for the 2023-2024 school year, but after an investigation that led to former head coach Todd Woodcroft's firing on July 18th, that's exactly where Wiedler finds himself. I grew up idolizing this, this league. I think for me, this was always a destination. Um, UVM specifically was a destination. I was excited to come here three years ago, and I'm excited to be able to lead the program uh, now in this seat. Wiedler was brought in as an assistant in 2020 at the same time as Woodcroft. And since then, the coaching staff has been creating a culture to breed winning within the program. That culture won't change, but the roadmap may. Whenever a new head coach comes in, um, you've got to put your stamp on, on the program. Um, there are some things that, uh, along with Scott Mosier, we will be doing differently. We're having those conversations as a staff right now. Um, and yes, like from a personal standpoint, um, I want to make sure that the progress that we have had up to date continues and I'm tasked with moving it one step further. With a program that's already been struggling, as the Catamounts haven't seen a winning season in seven years, the distraction of an investigation and regime change can further cast a shadow, especially in recruiting. Wheedler is counting on his players to seal the deal. Players are our best salesmen, right? They've um, lived it. They've been in this, this program for multi-years. It's not so much of us going out and telling people that it's them letting everybody know what direction we can take this program, what we can do, um, and how special this place is. Wheedler couldn't comment on the news of highly touted first year Alex Bump's decision to transfer or the possibility that other players could follow suit. But he did say he looks forward to coaching those who do join him on the ice for their first practice on August 28th.